it's red to 10k. If you couldn't tell, I sound a, sound a lot more buttery in my voice. My very, very loud voice. I apologize if I just made you all deaf. But I'm back. Uh, watching, watching myself play Mario Kart, probably not very really well. That, that mushroom is good. It's good. Good play. Professional play. But we'll see. This video is really loud. I don't know if you'll be able to hear my audio or not. We'll see. Also, I totally fell for the bait there, which was kind of disappointing, but whatever. Also, if you noticed, the audio quality is a lot better, because I got a uh, Blue Yeti microphone for professionals. Not sponsored. I don't know how we get a sponsorship deal with, like, 10 subscribers, but, you know, whatever. If you want me to be able to get sponsorship deals and, you know, make this channel a living, subscribe and tell your friends. Anyway, we're playing on this Hyrule Circuit, I think is the name of this. Um, not, not a huge fan of the map. I'm not a ha huge fan of getting hit by items anyway, but uh, if you look at the mini map towards the bottom by the uh, finish line, you'll see the little, what well, looks like a mustache. It's a really, really dumb part of the map, because those walls are relentless. I also think I can make this ramp, but I can't. I also get hit by a red shell, but... That's a whole separate story. Anyway, as I was saying, this part up here, total garbage. Also, getting hit by red shells, total garbage. Still don't understand how neither of them got that double item shell or item box before I did. Anyway, yeah, that section, total trash. Hate it. Also, I don't know what I stopped for there. Oh no, I no, that's that's what it was. I stopped because I thought that was the end of the race because I'm stupid. Also managed to dodge the lightning because I had the boo power up. Also got in uh, a golden mushroom. Very good power up. Highly recommend. Um, so this is this video is probably gonna end up being more of a an future of the channel video you know, without me going on uh, without me going on too many rants about what I'm doing. So. As you might be able to tell, my voice is nice and buttery. As I said, I got a new mic. We're gonna ignore my fourth place finish. That's why I, you know, directed the conversation. Anyway, nicer, nicer video quality, nicer audio quality, just higher quality, cause I care. So, yeah. In the future, hopefully there'll be more live streams, cause senior year kind of becomes a joke, and uh, who knows? Maybe, maybe. Uh, videos every couple days maybe videos every day i don't know how much time i'm gonna sink into this i'm not sure it'll, it'll depend it'll depend on how easy i find it to get footage uh, side note look at how wonderful this play is look at that boost and running into the bush so i don't fling myself off the cliff um i know all these shortcuts and stuff from my gamecube days because i used to camp on this game so You'll see. You'll also see here that I still don't quite know how to do this part. You'll also see that I should have hit her with that freaking green shell, but it's fine. I end up hitting myself with it anyway. It's all good. Again, the Bob, the Bob Ross of Mario Kart. Just happy little accidents where I think I know what I'm doing, but I don't. So. This race was was decent. I also thought I got hit by my own boomerang there, but no, it was just very conveniently timed by the. Rose, the rose gold peach. I don't know how I didn't get hit by a green shell there either. So, if I ever complain about being unlucky, it might be valid, but it also might be something like that, where I might just be really lucky and I don't appreciate it. So, Ooh, there we go. Now my uh, heating's off, so that way it won't be as uh, like there won't be as much background noise. We'll go with that. You'll be able to experience my voice in even higher quality. Without, without as much background fuzziness. I feel like I, I'm getting quieter and getting closer to the mic every time, so I don't know if anyone can actually hear me, but we'll see. Also, I like this part when you have an invisibility star, because you can just skip over everything. I don't know why I don't skip through the tires there. Um, I'm glad I got the double items here, because I'm pretty sure this helped me a lot, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, it doesn't. I, end up in, I think I end up in like fourth or something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I end up in fourth, which kind of sucks. Oh no, I don't, because it's the third lap. I don't know why I always do this. I think it's just because this is such a long course. 
I don't know why I threw that red shell either. That was kind of dumb. And now I'm going to get hit because I knew he had a red shell. Oh, no, I'm not. I forgot. It went after the guy who went off the cliff. Yeah, this is this is just... That's the thing about doing the commentary afterwards is it's just me stating things that are happening. And I feel like that's not entertaining. It's also me getting confused about things that are happening because I'm only half paying attention to the video. And I also can't really see my screen through my massive microphone. So, if I sound a little further away in my other uh, videos where I'm doing live commentary, that's because I have my microphone not right in front of my monitor. Um, I also totally screw this up because I... If that blue shell had been just a tiny bit faster, I would have at least gotten third because that invincibility person passed me, but whatever. Anyway, well, I think the next race is better. I think I've won a few in a row. I don't know. I recorded this yesterday, I don't know how I already forget, but whatever. Look at that, losing one point, 67.60. Ended the, ended the live stream with like 6,800, and I'm already down 40. That's why Road to 10k may never end, because I'm just not good enough, but whatever. Also, when if you try and throw an item and you don't have an item, that little honking noise you heard, it's really obnoxious. Never do it. Never do it as much as I do it, at least. I'm gonna try and stay quieter on this one because this music is greater. Great. Although I'm pretty sure they slowed it down more than it used to be. I also totally screwed up that boost. Always do your boosts as close to wherever you're, like, skipping over. You're, like, as close as you can. Because if you don't, <laughs> you'll end up stopping your boost, like, right in the middle of the slow spot. I also don't know why I threw that red shell. But whatever. Anyway. I'm going through here in the lead. I don't know if I keep this lead. I don't remember. I play enough Mario Kart that, you know, it all just sort of blurs together. It's a lot of fun though. So it's a it's a very fun blur. We'll go with that. I would say kinda like partying, but I don't I don't do enough of that to know. So Also this boombox, if you have the boombox, hold on to it because it can break blue shells. This is, this is just going to become like a Mario Kart tutorial um, channel. Also, it can break red shells as you just saw. So, if you if you have it there, then use it. But you might you might as well save it for blue shells because it'll do a lot more damage. See, as this blue shell right up here is going to do, except you'll see I get hit by the cow, and then I realize there's a blue shell, so I stop and let Jack get hit by it. I'm pretty sure this is the one I completely managed to dodge, yeah, but I also run into the grass because I'm dumb, but you win some, you lose some. Also get as many tricks as possible because they give you boosts, obviously. I also think this is probably the optimal path unless you screw up your drift because you're trying to do a jump, but, you know, can't always be winners. Except I can because I got first, so suck it. <laughs> Anyway, I keep honking because I think I'm cool, and it's really just obnoxious. Yeah. Yeah, I can sit here on this winning screen listening to the peaceful music, and then have it skip over to the next uh, race, which I do believe is on... Yep, Dolphin Shoals. It's a good, good course, good course. It's a lot of fun. This one, this one's kind of rough to do if you don't know, like, if it's not a good beginner course. We'll go with that, because there are a couple spots where it helps to have some experience in what you're doing. Like, right here, I should know that I can't do a jump, but I jump anyway. You can do tricks here, though, obviously, because it's got the ramps with the arrows on it. That's what ramps with arrows on the mean. Also, drift where you can, and make sure to get the highest drift you can. It goes blue, orange, and purple. And if you can get the boost right when it changes color, then you'll get the maximum boost with the minimum amount of drifting. So if you're like right at the end of the turn and you can go for a tiny bit longer, you might be able to get a higher drift. So, highly recommend. Also, if you have a long corners like this, make sure you're as close to the edge as possible because it does save you a surprising amount of distance. So, let's go. Still running around with banana. If you hold it behind you, don't get hit by a red shell. Or it might come up from underneath you or to the side, depending on if you're like on a jump or on a turn. Sometimes it'll do that, which is kind of annoying. Also, if they throw several red shells at you at once, you just sort of have to hope and pray. <laughs> so, yeah, if they have triple red shells, you're just sort of screwed if they know how to time them. Don't throw all three red shells at the same time. 
because then they won't actually all do anything. Because if you have one hit and then one hit immediately afterwards, it'll still be doing the damage animation, so it won't slow them down anymore. But if you time it well enough, you can just stop them for like 10 seconds. And that can be enough to get you past them. Like if someone had a red, triple retro right here, regardless of how far ahead I am, like I'm miles ahead, I could probably still get past if they had a triple red shell. Also, if you have a red shell, then would, if they had launched that a little bit later, so it hit me while I was up here, that, mm, not only does it piss me off, it slows you down so much. And of course, you know, I was trying to use my boombox on that blue shell, but I got hit, so apparently you can't use items when you're hit, which is something I learned yesterday when I, when I did that. <laughs> so, it's fine though. The blue shell didn't end up doing that much. So, still hitting the jumps as you're supposed to. You can see my lead has increased to pretty much a unbeatable extent. Except for this, because of course I have to fall for 20 seconds before he'll pick me up and, you know, send me over. So that narrows my lead by a significant amount. So if you can time your hits to do that, not only will you make the other person extremely angry, you also save yourself a few seconds. But continuing the drift around corners. Don't drift onto the slow part as I just did, because, you know, it'll break your drift and it'll slow you down. So, yeah. Honestly, this road to, the Road to 10k commentaries that I don't do live are probably just going to become pro tips, you know, from someone who has probably a couple hundred hours in this game. I don't know. Let me check. I have my Switch right here. To find the button for it. Where is it? Uh, profile. Here it is. 130 hours, there it is. Or more, because Nintendo can't give a straight answer, but whatever. Anyway, I do believe the next one's Sun Sunshine Airport, if I'm not mistaken. It is. Sunshine Airport. Very sunny and shiny and an airport. <laughs> I don't know. Thankfully I had enough foresight on this video to cut out like the, I think I cut out seven minutes of content that were just me sitting in lobbies, you know, waiting for the map to be chosen, but, yeah, I guess it gives you time to meditate. It's peaceful. Listen, listen to the soft background music, or I usually just have my headphones in listening to other stuff. But, yeah. Doing a trick off of this jump's really important because then you can almost guarantee you won't get hit by items and then like get knocked off. Also, you can slowly bring yourself to the outside on that last turn so you can get that double item on the side. I also just lay down this bomb because using those to break red shells and stuff is really a difficult. So, I just choose not to. Our second lap here. You can get the trick and get that close to the corner if you can sort of loop yourself around like that. It helps. Also, I see the blue shell, but I also know that I'm really far ahead, so I don't try and stop, or else I'll end up, you know, in second or something as someone behind them passes both of us. So I just sort of have to take it, but I also see I'm about to get this jump, so I take that diagonal path as long as I can, so I don't get hit up here, so it doesn't take forever to bring me back up. And also you'll see me go to the outside right there, so I can get this double item, which is very important, I think. I don't know if it happens this lap or not. Although the lightning does sort of, you know, negate that. But it's, it's at least good to try. It's also good not to run into the grass, but... Also, if you miss that first jump and you end up on the other side of that luggage return, you can jump off the end of that too. So, if you're ever in a sort of a pinch. So, yeah. I have like a minute left of this, so as I finish up this last lap... I guess I don't really have to do that much of an outro. Anyway, I'll probably start doing live streams. I don't know, Saturday... Actually, leave it in the comments. Would you rather have live streams, like, Saturday morning? Or Sunday... Sunday mo Sunday afternoon. We'll call it Sunday, like, mid-afternoon or Saturday mid-afternoon. I don't know. Yeah, also, dodge blue shells, like that. So then you don't get launched off the cliff. So, anyways... Hope you enjoy. I'll hopefully keep turning out this, you know, Road to 10K, Road to 10K content, along with some other content that isn't Road to 10K. <laughs> I don't know. My computer's kind of too slow to run anything, so I don't know how good of recordings I can actually get with that. We'll see.
I forgot how much of the victory lap I left into this one, so there's still a little bit left. 67.85. I almost regained all of the stuff I lost, you know. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll probably see you again. I don't know.